Okay, so our game is working perfectly fine, but the only thing that we don't have is a score. We want to be able to add one to our score every time the bird goes through the pipes. So to achieve this, we're going to create a canvas with a score. So let's right click here in the hierarchy and select UI and we'll select canvas. And when we select the canvas, you can see that we have created an event system. And if you double click in the canvas, you can see that this is the canvas, okay? So this is the canvas. And for example, if you now double click in the background, you will see that this is the game. So what we're going to do is that we're going to select the canvas and we're going to select the render mode here and we set it to screen space camera. And now we have to give it a camera. So we're going to drag the main camera to this field. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to set an ordering layer for the canvas and we're going to set it to 10 because we want the canvas to render in front of everything else. Now here where it says canvas scaler, we're going to set the UI scale mode. This UI scale mode, we're going to set it to scale with screen size. And now we have to give it a reference resolution. Let's give it a reference resolution of 900 by 1600. Why 900 by 1600? Because it's the, it's the resolution that we're working with, 9 by 16. So that's why we put 900 by 1600. And this screen match mode, we're going to set the match to 0 0.5, okay? And now that we have done this, we're going to right click here in the canvas, select UI, and we're going to select text. And we're, gonna, we're going to rename this text to score text. I'm going to call it score txt. And we're going to set the text to zero because this is going to be our score. And let's set, set the alignment to center and center and the horizontal overflow to overflow and the vertical overflow to overflow. And if you, and if you zoom in here in the scene, you can see that if we select the score text, you can move the score text up like this. We will move it up, up here. And now we can change the size. So let's change the font size here in the inspector by dragging to the right like this. Perfect. We're, gonna, we're going to change the color of the score. So change the color of the score to white. Click here and change the color. And now we're going to give it a shadow. So add component and let's type in shadow. And if you zoom in, you can see that we cannot see the shadow, but it is because we need to play with the effect distance. So click and drag to the right. So the shadow goes to the right. You can see that the shadow here in the scene goes to the right. And we can also play with the Y component. So we can make the shadow go up or down by dragging right or left. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag it up. So the shadow is to the right and a little bit up. So now we hit play, we'll see that we have the score, which is very nice. But every time we go through the pipes, we don't update the score. Why is this? This happens because because we need to actually detect that the bird is going through the pipes. So let's drag one column just to see what, what we want to happen in the game. And what we want to do is that we want to create a collider so that when the bird collides with it, uh, we trigger something, we trigger an event, and then we add one to the score. So we're going to select the column, add component, and we're going to add a bus collider 2D. And we have this bus collider 2D, but we want to change the size a little bit so we can drag the size to the, we can click and drag the X to make it, we'll make it a little bit smaller on the X axis and bigger on the Y axis like this. And we can play with the offset. We can drag it to the right. So the collider moves to the right. We're going to place it right here to the right. So when the bird, when the collider of the bird collides with this collider, we want to trigger something. So we don't want the bird to collide with this collider, but we want the bird to trigger this collider. So we're going to set the is trigger to check. We're going to check the is trigger option of the box collider. And you can see that now there is like a plus icon. This is because if we now select our column proof up here in the project, you will see that it doesn't have the box collider that we just created. But if you, if you select the column instance, you will see that it has the collider. So this is because we have only modified the instance, but not the original prefab. So to affect all of the... So if you want to apply this change to the original prefab, what you need to do is that you, you need to go here to overrides and select apply all. Okay, so now this column has a collider and it also has a tag column. So what we can do is that we can delete this column and we can go to the BERT script in the Visual Studio. And after the update method, we're going to define a special method called on trigger. So type in on trigger. And when you see on trigger enter 2D, hit enter. And this is a special method because this method is going to listen for trigger events that happen with the BERT. So here we need to say if collision, if this is the event that we're getting, so this is the collider of the object that we're colliding with. So we're going to check if collision dot game object or we can just say if collision.compare tag, open and close parentheses, and we're gonna type in here column, 
So if we collide with the column, if the bird collides with the column, if it triggers the column, then we want to score. So we want the score to go up. So we're going to print for now and we're going to say score up. This print method will print this, this text to the console when this happens, okay? It's just so we are printing something just to test out this and see if it works. Now, if we go back to Unity and uh, we try to play the game, we're going to see that if the bird collides with the column, we should see something appear in the console. And if we stop the game and if we go to the console, we can see that the score up has been triggered. So this trigger method is working and this is happening. So we are doing a good job so far. Okay, so now we need to create a new behavior for the score text so that we can update this score text every time we every time we score. So to do this, let's go to the scripts and let's right click create a C script. We will call this script score capital S uppercase S. Let's open it. And the first thing that we're going to do with this score script is we're, we're going to create an int variable of uh, uh, named score. Okay, so this is going to be a number, an integer. And at the start of the game, the score is going to be equal to zero. And then we don't need this update method. So let's get rid of the update method. And we're going to create a method of type void called score up. And we're going to call this score up method every time we score. And we're going to make it public because we want to, we're going to make this method public because we want to access this score up from the birth script. We want to call, we want to call this score up from the birth script. Okay, from here. So when we, but I, we, when we trigger the column, but then we want to call this the score up. So inside the score up, we want, we're just going to say a score plus plus, which is the same thing as saying a score is equal to score plus one. And then we want to get access to the text component because if you select the score text, you can see that the score text has a text component. So we want to select this, this component. This is because the score script is going to be attached to the score text. So let's add the component and let's look for the score. And let's add it. Let's hit enter. So the score script is attached to the score text and from this script we want to access the text script or the text component so here we we before we can say that we have to use a unity library called using called ui so using unity engine dot ui okay so we need to do this so we can use the text uh the text type okay so here we're going to say after we add one to the score we're going to say get component text Dot text because we want to access the text dot text and we're going to set it equal to a score to string like this so why text dot text because the score text has a text component and the text component has a text field so that's why i'm saying text dot text equals score which is the score to string because the score is an integer and we cannot assign an integer to a text but if we transform the score to a string then we can assign it to the text. Okay, so now the only thing that we need to do is that we need to call this method from the bird script. So to do this, we're going to create a reference. So I'm going to, just gonna comment this and say that these are the references. And we're gonna create a reference that is going to be a public reference to the score uh, text. So this is going to be a score text variable of type score. And now what we're going to do here is that when we score, we're going to say score text dot score up we're gonna, we're gonna call the method but we have to set for this to work we need to set this reference from the editor from the unity editor so now in inspector we're going to select our bird that has the bird script and it's waiting for the reference to the score text so let's drag click and drag the score text to the score text now this is done and now every time we go through the pipe we should be calling the score up and we should be updating the score and one thing that you can see that we can go through the pipes and this is not a good thing because we can go through the pipes and we can avoid scoring up. So to do this, let's go to the prefabs folder. Let's go, let's double click the column. So now we have opened the prefab editor and in the prefab editor, you can see what the prefab is made of. The prefab is made of a column and two pipes. And if you select the pipes, you can see that they don't have a box collider. So we're going to select both pipes and add component box collider to the so now we have added uh, a component to the original prefab so we don't have to override anything because we have edited the original prefab so now we can click here in this arrow to go back and now we hit play you can see that we can actually collide with the pipes and one thing that you can see that is that if the bird collides with the pipes it can rotate the bird can can rotate like this and we don't want to if you don't want the bird to rotate what you can do is that you can select the bird 
and here in the rigid body uh, component you can click here where it says constraints and you can freeze the z position so now we play the game you can see that whenever the bird collides with the ground or with the pipes it will not rotate on the z axis okay so that's going to be it for this video i'll see you in the next video